I want to thank you for watching this video today. My name is Sherry White, and my husband and I are head of Fountain of Life Ministries International in Athens, Georgia. You know, today, the Lord just put in my heart this, this fray, let the high praises of God be in your mouth. You know, if things are going good, it's easy to praise the Lord. It's easy to give thanks unto Him. It's easy to sing uh, songs of praise unto Him. You know, but in challenging times, uh, in times of peril, in times of, of distress, uh, that is the time to praise the Lord. That is the time to bring Him into the situation. He inhabits the praises of His people. You know, in Psalms 149, uh, it says, Let the high praises of God be in your mouth and a double-edged sword in your hand. Of course, we know the sword is the Word of God. But let's praise Him. Let's sing unto Him. Let's give Him glory for what He is doing and focus on what He is doing, what God is doing. And that encourages us. And that causes us by our spirits to rise up and to begin to soar uh, on high like the eagles. Uh, hallelujah. You know, it says in uh, King David... Uh, constantly said, my, in my mouth, uh, continually, God's praises will be continually in my mouth. Are we praising Him today? You know, this is the time and this is the season uh, that we need to lift up the Lord. Because He says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men or all people unto me. I will draw humanity. You know, it's His praises on our lips today. You know, in Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas uh, were doing the, the work of the Lord, and they were put in prison uh, for uh, casting out a demon out of a young girl who was was uh, uh, controlled by a demonic spirit uh, of divination. And because of that, because she could not uh, tell fortunes anymore, uh, and her owners, or her, the ones who were in control of her, uh, did not get the money anymore. Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. And in verse 25 of Acts chapter 16, it says that Paul, at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas began to sing hymns unto the Lord. They began to praise Him, and they began to pray. You know... We can do this in time of trouble. We can do this in time of distress, in time of sickness and disease. If we will just begin to praise the Lord and let His praises come out of our mouth, uh, the Lord will come and be in that situation and heal our bodies, heal our minds, take care of our relationships, take care of of whatever we need if we will only praise Him. You know, I, I'm here in this beautiful spot where you can see the mountains behind me. I wanted to come to the mountains today uh, to do this video because when I think about King David, I think about him sitting in a beautiful area, a beautiful pasture with the mountains behind him and the sheep before him. And he's just playing his harp and he's singing unto the Lord. Do you know that the Psalms are songs unto the Lord. Give Him praise today. Give Him glory today. And you will come out of your sickness. And you will come out of your disease. Oh, thank you, Lord. You know, I'm speaking to somebody today. I'm speaking to that person who has arthritis today. That your joints shall be lubricated when you begin to praise Him. When you begin to sing unto the Lord, your joints will fill up with lubricant. And, and you will be able to move your elbows and knees and ankles. And, and, and the back of your neck will be free uh, from arthritis. Uh, just begin to praise Him today. Begin to praise Him if you've got uh, something going on with your gallbladder. Something going on with your kidneys. Something going on with your liver. Uh, begin to praise Him today. Uh, because if you have any type of allergies in your body, begin to praise Him today because He is the one. He is the healer. He is the one that will come 
and take your disease away and take all of the pain away. If you need finances today, begin to lift up the Lord because He's the one that has all the gold and all the silver and He will provide for you. He is your provider, the Jehovah Jireh of your life. He is Jehovah Nisi, the God that is uh, goes before you and gives you victory in battle. If you feel like you've been in a battle today, begin to praise the Lord. Begin to lift up uh, the name of the Lord and the Word of God, which is the sword, the double-edged sword. Lift it up today. I am telling you that praise is powerful. Begin to use it today. Thank you so much for viewing.